Today, the entire world finds out what happens if Max Verstappen was completely deleted from the 2023 Formula One season. Who will win the championship? Will it be Sergio Perez or will others like Alonzo, Hamilton, Norris, or Charles Leclerc take the title? Stay tuned to find out. My name is Chris. Welcome back to CF Racing and enjoy the video. Hey everybody, what's going on? Chris here, otherwise known as CF Racing, and today, everybody, I got rid of Max Verstappen from the 2023 World Drivers Championship. So it's really just Perez carrying the whole team of Red Bull to see what really happened. Like, we know Verstappen was able to win the title by himself and the Constructors title, but let's see if Perez really can. Also want to give a shout out to Coffee. Thank you for helping out with today's video. Really appreciate all the math that you did in this one because... Moving up every driver every uh, for every single race is, is quite challenging. Also, guys, don't forget to join the Discord. We are doing an F1 Manager 2023, if that's what it's called. I don't even know what the game's really called. Yeah, but it's an F1 Manager giveaway. It's going to be, um, I guess, announced the winner on Christmas Eve, I think. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that. We'll say Christmas Eve. We'll announce the winner. So just join the Discord. All you got to do is talk a couple messages in there to get a normal role, and then you should be able to enter the giveaway. And with that being said, guys, thank you so much for the support, and uh, yeah, we'll see who wins this championship. Race one in Bahrain was won by Checo Perez with Alonso P2 and Sainz actually rounding out the podium. Pretty good start to the year. And of course, we know Charles Leclerc had a DNF this race as his engine literally blew up when he was running in third in real life. Hamilton's in fourth, followed by Stroll in fifth, Russell sixth, Valtteri Bottas in seventh, Gasly eighth, Alexander Albon ninth, Yuki Tsunoda tenth, and Zhou Guang Yu actually got the fastest lap. Who would have thought? Race 2 in Saudi Arabia was won by Sergio Perez as he goes back to back, followed by Alonso P2 and George Russell P3. Lewis Hamilton finishes 4th, followed by Carlos Sainz, Charles Leclerc, Esteban Ocon, Gasly 8th, Kevin Magnussen actually scores a point, finishes 9th, and Yuki Tsunoda finishes P10 with Checo Perez getting the fastest lap. Race 3 in Australia, here we go, Lewis Hamilton actually wins a race for the first time since Saudi Arabia 2021 as he takes the win in Australia with Alonso P2 and Lance Stroll actually getting his first podium of the year in P3. Sergio Perez finishes 4th followed by Lando Norris, Nico Hülkenberg, Oscar Piastri, Zhou Guangyu 8th, Yuki Tsunoda 9th, Valtteri Bottas 10th and Perez gets the point for the fastest lap. The Baku Sprint Race was won by Sergio Perez with Charles Leclerc P2, George Russell P3, Carlos Sainz P4, Fernando Alonso 5th, Hamilton 6th, Stroll 7th, and Alexander Albon in the Williams actually gets a point in the Sprint Race as he finishes 8th. That's quite impressive. The main race in Baku was won by Sergio Perez, but honestly though, yeah, he actually won this race in real life, so that's pretty exciting. So good for Checo. He actually kept this win just like he did in Saudi Arabia. Charles Leclerc finishes P2 with Alonso P3 and Carlos Sainz P4. Hamilton finishes 5th, followed by Lance Stroll, George Russell, Lando Norris, Yuki Tsunoda, Oscar Piastri 10th, and George Russell gets the fastest lap. And Alonso once again has been on the podium for every single race this year. Race 5 in Miami, another win for Sergio Perez, but this is really where it starts to fall off for Checo. Fun, right? Uh, we got Alonzo in second, followed by George Russell in third. Alonzo, once again, still on the podium every single race. Same with Perez. No, actually, Perez didn't get a podium in, in Australia. Sainz finishes fourth, followed by Hamilton fifth. Charles Leclerc sixth. Pierre Gasly seventh. Acon eighth. Kevin Magnussen ninth again. Yuki Snowda tenth. And Alonzo had the point for the fastest lap. Six in Monaco was Alonzo's first win since 2013 or 2012. Damn, that's a long time. Uh, with Ocon actually finishing second, big race for him, and Lewis Hamilton finishing third. George Russell finishes fourth, followed by Charles Leclerc, Pierre Gasly, Carlos Sainz, Lando Norris, Piastri is in ninth, Bottas tenth, and Hamilton gets the point for the fastest lap. Seven in Spain was a win for Lewis Hamilton, and that's his second win of the year, and it actually was a 1-2 for Mercedes, so that is very exciting for them, good for Mercedes. Perez finishes third, followed by Sainz in fourth, Lance Stroll in fifth, Alonso sixth, Esteban Ocon finishes seventh, Zhou Guangyu eighth, Gasly ninth, Charles Leclerc actually scored a point this race after he had a terrible weekend in Spain, and Sergio Perez gets the point for the fastest lap. Race 8 in Canada was won by Fernando Alonso, you love to see it, followed by Lewis Hamilton in P2 and Charles Leclerc P3. Carlos Sainz finishes 4th, followed by Sergio Perez 5th, Alexander Rabon 6th, Esteban Ocon 7th, Lance Stroll 8th, Bottas 9th, Piastri 10th, and Sergio Perez again, he's a fastest lap merchant, he gets the fastest lap. 
Race nine, the Austrian sprint race. We did take out Imola. That's why all these races are moved up just a little bit and China as well. Perez finishes P1 with Sainz second. Lance Stroll finishing third in the Austrian sprint race. Unreal. Alonso fourth, Hulkenberg fifth, Ocon sixth, George Russell seventh, and Lando Norris eighth. The Austria main race was Charles Leclerc's first win of the season, and he beat Sergio Perez in a power-sensitive track, and Perez is in that Red Bull. That's a little embarrassing, Checo. With Sergio Perez P2 and Lando Norris, the McLaren upgrades are finally taking effect now in P3. Alonso finishes fourth, followed by Carlos Sainz fifth, George Russell sixth, Lewis Hamilton seventh, Lance Stroll eighth, Gasly ninth, Albon P10, and Pe Checo Perez again has the fastest lap. Like I said, fastest lap merchant. Race 10 in the UK, or as we know it as Silverstone, Lando Norris gets his first ever Formula 1 win. You love to see it with Lewis Hamilton P2 and Oscar Piastri getting his first ever podium in P3. The podium he'd actually deserved in Silverstone that Lewis Hamilton took away because of a lucky safety car. George Russell finishes 4th, followed by Sergio Perez 5th, Alonso 6th, Albon 7th, Charles Leclerc 8th, Carlos Sainz 9th, Logan Sargent, you love to see it, he finishes 10th, and Lando Norris got the point for the fastest lap. To Lebanon, Hungary was a back-to-back -back win for Lando Norris with Perez P2 and Lewis Hamilton in third. Oscar Piastri finished fourth, followed by George Russell, Charles Leclerc, Carlos Sainz, Fernando Alonso eighth, Lance Stroll ninth, Albon tenth, and Lewis Hamilton had the point for the fastest lap, and he wrapped up another podium. The sprint race in Spa was actually won by Oscar Piastri, and I, I mean, I completely forgot he had a great sprint race here. Piastri wins with Gasly in second and Carlos Sainz in third. What is going on? Charles Leclerc finished fourth with Lando Norris fifth, Hamilton sixth, Russell seventh, and Esteban Ocon in eighth. The main race in Spa, unfortunately, was won by Sergio Perez as that Red Bull is all conquering at Spa. With Charles Leclerc, great, great race for him in P2, and Lewis Hamilton in third. Fernando Alonso finished 4th, followed by George Russell in 5th, Lando Norris 6th, Esteban Ocon 7th, Lance Stroll 8th, Yuki Tsunoda 9th, Gasly 10th, and Lewis Hamilton had the point for the fastest lap. Race 13 in the Netherlands was won by Fernando Alonso with Gasly P2 and Sergio Perez P3. Carlos Sainz finished 4th, followed by Lewis Hamilton 5th, Lando Norris 6th, Albon 7th, Oscar Piastri 8th, Esteban Ocon 9th, Lance Stroll 10th, and Alonso got the point for the fastest lap. Race 14 in Monza was won by Sergio Perez, followed by Carlos Sainz P2 and Shell Leclerc double Ferrari podium in Monza, epic in P3. George Russell finished 4th, followed by Hamilton 5th, Albon 6th, Norris 7th, Alonso 8th, Bottas 9th, Liam Lawson gets a point in 10th, epic, and Oscar Piastri gets the point for the fastest lap. Race 15 in Singapore was won by Carlos Sainz, you love to see it, with Lando Norris P2 and Lewis Hamilton P3. Charles Leclerc at the same top 4, who would have thought stayed the same as Verstappen was 5th. Um, Leclerc finished 4th, followed by Gasly 5th, Piastri 6th, Perez 7th, Liam Lawson in 8th, wow, Kevin Magnussen 9th, Albon 10th, and a Lewis Hamilton gets the point for the fastest lap. Race 16 in Japan was won by Lando Norris, his third win of the year, followed by Piastri P2 and Charles Leclerc P3. Hamilton finishes fourth, followed by Carlos Sainz, George Russell, Fernando Alonso, Esteban Ocon, Pierre Gasly, Lawson 10th, again, points for him, and Lando Norris gets fastest lap. Tar sprint race was won by Piastri just like it was in real life with Norris P2, Russell P3, Hamilton 4th, Sainz 5th, Albon 6th, Alonso 7th, and Gasly in 8th. The Qatar main race was won by Oscar Piastri with Lando Norris P2, George Russell P3, and Charles Leclerc P4. Alonso finishes 5th, followed by Esteban Ocon, Valtteri Valtas, Zhou Guangyu, Sergio Perez, Lance Stroll in 10th, and Norris got the point for the fastest lap, and this was Piastri's first ever win in Formula 1. Coda sprint race was won by Lewis Hamilton with Charles Leclerc P2 and Lando Norris third. Sergio Perez finished fourth, followed by Carlos Sainz, Gasly, Russell, and Albon rounds out the top eight. The Coda main race was won by Lando Norris, followed by Sainz in second after the Hamilton and Charles Leclerc disqualifications, and Sergio Perez in third. Russell finished fourth, followed by Gasly, Lance Stroll, good for race for him, Yuki Tsunoda, Logan. Uh, Alexander Albon, Logan Sargent in 9th, you love to see it, Nico Hülkenberg in 10th, and Sonoda got the point for the fastest lap. The race in Mexico was won by Lewis Hamilton with Charles Leclerc P2 and Carlos Sainz P3. Lando Norris finished 4th, followed by George Russell, Daniel Ricciardo, Oscar Piastri, Alexander Albon 8th, Ocon ninth, Gasly 10th, and Hamilton had the point for the fastest lap. The sprint race in Brazil was won by Lando Norris with Perez 2nd and Russell in 3rd. Charles Leclerc was 4th, followed by Yuki Tsunoda 5th, Hamilton 6th, Carlos Sainz 7th, and Daniel Ricciardo in P8. 
race in Brazil was won by Lando Norris with Alonso P2 and Sergio Perez P3. Lance Stroll finished fourth, followed by Carlos Sainz, Pierre Gasly, Lewis Hamilton, Yuki Tsunoda eighth, Ocon ninth, Logan Sargent in P10. That's what a kilometer is. And fastest lap goes to Lando Norris. Race 21 in Las Vegas was won by Charles Leclerc as he had a great end of the year with Perez P2 and Ocon P3. What a podium, by the way. Lance Stroll finished fourth, followed by Carlos Sainz fifth, Hamilton sixth, Russell seventh, Alonso eighth, Piastri P9, Gasly P10, and Piastri had the fastest lap. And in the final race of Abu Dhabi, Charles Leclerc comes out on top once again, back-to-back -back wins as he takes P1 with George Russell P2 and Sergio Perez third. Lando Norris finishes fourth, followed by Oscar Piastri, Fernando Alonso, Yuki Tsunoda, Lewis Hamilton eighth, Lance Stroll ninth, Daniel Ricciardo finishes P10, and Sergio Perez at the point for the fastest lap. And now guys, let's take a look at the final standings. Don't forget to leave your predictions in the comment section down below right now, and let's see how close you guys get. And at the end of the year, the driver standings do look like this. Sergio Perez would still win the World Drivers Championship, but it certainly wasn't a 200 point massacre or basically 300, 400 point massacre that Verstappen did on the rest of the grid. Perez was first with 353 points, followed by Lewis Hamilton in second with 298. The wins that Lando Norris got propelled him up the order as he finished 5th, I believe, or 6th, I don't remember now, and now he's 3rd, 270 points. Alonso was 4th, 268 points, and Charles Leclerc was 5th with 261 points. Carlos Sainz was 6th with 243, followed by George Russell in 7th with 221. Piastri 8th with 127, Lance Stroll 9th with over 100 points at 101, and Pierre Gasly finished 10th with 88 points. Esteban Ocon was 11th with 83, followed by Albon in 12th with 46, Yuki Tsunoda 13th with 30, followed by Valtteri Bottas in 14th with 18 points, Nico Hülkenberg finished 15th with 13 points, Zhou Guangyu was 16th with 12, and Daniel Ricciardo was 17th with 10 points. Liam Lawson was 18th with 6 points, Kevin Magnussen was 6th with 19 points, and Logan Sargent was in dead last with 4 points with Verstappen and Nick DeVries behind them all on zero points as they didn't score any because, you know, I deleted Verstappen and Nick DeVries didn't really have a good year. The constructor standings was really a crazy fight and Mercedes did end up coming out on top with 519 points with Ferrari and P2 with 504. And imagine a title fight like that next year. That would be crazy. McLaren was third with 397. Aston Martin was fourth with 390 or 69. Nice. And Red Bull actually without Verstappen, obviously just one driver. Perez had them in fifth with 353 points. Still a pretty good season from Checo, not gonna lie. Alpine was sixth with 171 points, followed by Williams in seventh with 50. Alpha Tauri in eighth with 46. Alfa Romeo ninth with 30 points. And Haas, they end up finishing dead last with 19 points. So guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. If you did enjoy, hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends, join the Discord for the F1 Manager giveaway, and I'll see you guys next time.